Take five. My name is Diana Davis, and I am a teaching artist with Arts for Learning Indiana. Today, I will be performing Building Your Own Instrument for you. Before I get started, I'd like to take a moment to tell you to like this post and to tag a friend in the comments and invite them to join us. Today, I'm going to be playing my accordion. I'm going to be showing you the inside parts of the accordion, and then I'm going to be showing you an example of how you can make your own instrument at home. All right. <laughs> blues away today. All right, so I'm going to put my accordion down on this lovely table here. So probably a lot of you have not seen the inside of the accordion before. So the accordion is played, you make sound with what we call reeds. So I'm going to pluck a few reeds for you. It's just like the harmonica. I can also actually blow into the reeds. And the reason the reeds make different sounds is because some of them are longer and some of them are shorter. So the same principle applies to any kind of instrument you make. So I want to invite you, if you are at home and you're looking for some fun things to do, to make your own instrument. So I took a piece of cardboard, I just have it home. Okay, many of you may have some tape, I use duct tape, and just some regular old rubber bands. And you can do, use any kind of material you have, any kind of sizes, that sort of thing. And so what I did is I stretched the rubber band into different sizes. So we have longer rubber bands. And so I made different notes, longer notes and shorter notes. And then I can play songs on my own instrument. And it can be a lot of fun. And then you can play around with the rubber bands themselves. And just remember, Reuse comes before recycle, so you can create all kinds of different instruments from the supplies you have at home. Because this is just cardboard I had laying around, I made it into the shape, whatever I wanted. I made it pretty, because that's what I like to do. And you can use any kind of tape, um, and then you can use rubber bands or any kinds of different things. And then you and anyone else at home, all ages, can make lots of fun different instruments. And I just use scissors and I use box cutters. So kids at home, make sure you have an adult if you're with you when you're doing a box cutter because you don't want to hurt yourself. And I just stretched it out and then I played around with the different kinds of rubber bands to do various things. Okay, so again, so you can see, okay, we have different sizes with the accordion reed. And then we have little baby reeds. Makes a big difference, right? Okay, so when you can have a big instrument, you can have small instruments, you can have things that make sound, okay, stretch them out in all different ways, play around with how you want to do your different instruments. Special thanks for Arts for Learning and the Indiana Foundation, a Central Indiana Community Foundation for, uh, for making this possible. So uh, thanks again for joining us and we'll see you later. Thanks.